So one of the other things that you've talked about is, um, you know, the mind, what, and these are my words or what I've understood of what you've said, you know, what the mind believes the heart follows. Um, you know, what is in the mind is in the heart, uh, in no. a sense, if I've got it right, unless I've got it wrong. Um, and, you know, because when you say that there is no difference between, you know, my mind is saying this, but my heart is saying something You're talking else. about a metaphoric heart or your heart heart? I am talking about metaphoric, I'm oh. not talking about... Okay, not the I'm pump. I'm talking about metaphoric heart, not the heart that is, you know, simply pumping. There is something else, you know, which I've read uh, some time back, which says that, you know, you've got to search in your heart with your intellect. So there are all these things which is about the mind and the heart and, you know, how you apply intelligence and perception to create awareness. And I think you've talked about that a little bit. Would you elaborate for us, um, you know, the concept of intellect, intelligence, perception, and, you know, how we can use that in our everyday lives? See, there's a whole lot of enterprise going on in the world by complicating very simple aspects of life, really. <laughs> if you complicate something with uh, incomprehensible words and if you have a lot of words to do it, then you will seem profound because anyway nobody can understand what the hell it is. So searching your heart with your intellect, the thing that you're referring to as your heart is generally the emotional side of you. Mm -hmm. So you're separating what is thought and what is emotion. Let me ask you a simple question. If you look at yourself carefully in your day-to-day -day activity, you will notice this. The way you think is the way you emote. Right now, if I think, you are such a wonderful person, I will have sweet emotions towards you. Which I hope you're thinking <laughs> uh, This is not a confession <laughs> If I have… if I think she is horrible, I'll have nasty emotions towards you. Right. I cannot think you're wonderful and have nasty emotions towards you. I cannot think you're horrible and have sweet emotions towards you. It is impractical and it's not possible. People act those things and it never works. People, I hate her but I'll be nice to her, they will go like this and do like this. <laughs> you know? Have you seen this happening? Yes. Nice things are done in a horrible way. Right, right, right. <laughs> it is happening in families, among friends, whatever. Nice no. things are done in such a horrible way. If you want to do something horrible, just do something horrible at least. Don't spoil the nice things in a horrible way. <laughs> So, now, the question is just this, thought and emotion are they same or are they two different realms? They are not. Thought is agile. See, today I can think, right now I think you're wonderful, to just next moment you did something I don't like, I think you're horrible. My thought immediately changes because he's agile. But my emotion is sappy, it'll take three days, it'll struggle and slowly turn around. It has a larger turning arc. But after three days, it'll come my way. For some people, it's three days, some people three months, but they will turn around, isn't it? Yes or no? The way you think is the way you feel, there is no other way. It is also true the way you feel is the way you think also. It depends which is more dominant in you. In a person, if emotion is forefront, the way they feel is the way they think. If thought is forefront, the way they think is the way they feel. You can't think one way and feel another way. That only happens temporarily, for some time, but emotion will catch up. 